right, y'all. Welcome back. So this starts a new series with us. Um, hopefully you've seen the other videos that I posted, but this video, before I can get going on my Falcon, kinda, I can still do stuff to the Falcon, but um, as you've seen that Vega that was in my yard, that's my friend Tim's with the Galaxy. Um, this thing's been sitting for quite a while, so we're gonna go through the fuel system, oil system, trans fluid, just kind of do a fluid change, probably tune up, that kind of stuff. Get this thing running for him. Get it out of here because it's a Chevrolet and it's going to leak oil all over the place. And then uh, get back on the Falcon. And getting the Falcon the rest of the way apart, rear end out, doors off, glass out, so that it can get sandblasted. That way I can start fresh with a nice clean canvas. And then uh, depending on how much it is, probably going to just have it um, sealed, powder coat sealed. And then go from there. We'll start cutting that thing apart, cutting the front off, most of the front. Uh, we're still going to leave the frame rails, but K member is going to go in. And the goal is to start getting the cage put in it. That way I can bring the strut bars out and do something very similar to what Tess's race Maverick looks like. Um, want this thing to be as light as possible and I want to have to put weight into it to make weight because um, as you guys know going fast is about how light your stuff is so here we go <laughs> my sketchy dog out of here because he was acting a fool but speaking of sketchy take a look at this thing man so i don't know much of anything about these but you know hacksaw here kind of sketchy uh, i'm about half scared to fall, walk underneath this thing henry ford's gonna let it drop on me and kill me but um, somebody's homemade hot rod. This back here, mega sketchy. Look at all this sketchy bullshit. None of this stuff was ever painted either, so it's all rustier and shit. But I don't think that's what I'm messing with at all. Only thing I'm doing is, actually the fuel lines look pretty good. We're gonna, Probably clean that fuel filter, um, flush the fuel cell out, make sure there's good fuel getting up to the carburetor. I, I don't know if I'm doing trans service or not. I believe this is a newer trans that's in it. I think Tim put a new one in it. Um, oil change. Yeah, that looks fun to change. Look at that, still the starter. Sitting all on the header. Wow. But um, yeah. So you got kind of an idea of what this car is. I, I really don't know what my friend's doing with this thing. Um, I wouldn't want to go fast and get this thing sideways. Well, he's got bigger balls than me, but we're gonna get it serviced up for him. So I'm under here just looking, just looking at stuff and you know, that's cool. That's not even tight. Uh, little things like the exhaust hanger, that side broke, this side not in. Uh, bracket up there, missing the I don't know. Get these food back in, I suppose. Um, thing else don't look too bad. That looks like a little drive shaft for a car that goes 150 miles an hour. I mean, it does have a parachute, so it does got to go 150, right? 
Um, I mean, that's cool. That's like, I don't know if there's clearance there, to be honest with you. Um, yeah. Hmm. But the fuel lines, dang, they look pretty good. I guess we'll get some fuel going through them and see. Only hose I see that if I own this thing I would fix is right here. I think those push lock hoses have run their course. Um, obviously this thing needs tires. I was looking for the date code. Uh, I don't see them anywhere. But yeah, they're uh, they're done. Ice Group Garage, he'd probably drive to New York on those, but I wouldn't drive to the liquor store. That's not in like it should be. That looks like it's probably leaking fuel. We'll see. Uh, that's That's got a custom thing there. You know, <laughs> kinda like that side. Uh, yeah, these ones just as sketchy. These are, 135 like you'd find on a Volkswagen or like I used to run on my little Toyota truck. Um, let's see if there's a day code on these. Let's see day code on these either. But they are old. They need to be uh need to be changed. I think they're flat spotted probably. He said it was real shaky driving. Hmm. All right. So here's what it looks like in here. Dirty. No, well, gonna need a plug change, I'm sure. An oil change for certain. Don't really know what exactly I'm doing at the moment with the deal. Um, uh, at least the air cleaner was on it. That rear looks decent. Accelerator pumps are on shot, so it's gonna at least be accelerator pumps. So the carburetor probably for sure accelerator pumps. Other than that, that carb looks pretty decent. I guess I'll pull it off, pull it apart, and see um, how dirty it is. So it does have a battery from 2017. So that's good. That's probably no good. Normally these fuel cells got foam and that stuff just deteriorates and it does have foam in it. But it feels pretty damn good. Oh, it'll just flake off. No gas in it. It actually feels fairly decent in there. I don't even feel gummy on the bottom. I might be able to just put some race fuel on this deal clean that fuel filter and clean the carburetor out, might get lucky. So, that's good. I'll try to put it on a trickle charge and see if it'll take a charge. Highly doubt that will, will work. But what I'm gonna do is check and see if there's water in that battery.
Looks like one of the Costco Interstate Specials. So there is water, but it is low, 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 low. Very low. And it's still water, actually, because I checked the water in my trailer. Batteries. So I gotta go get this mop cut. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna let this thing charge, trickle charge. And real quick, I'm gonna pull a plug out. And I think that's all I need to do because I'm gonna change oil on this deal anyhow. Um, and we'll put new plugs in it. Who knows how old the plugs are, probably as old as whoever did the back half on this thing. So we'll grab some plugs while I'm out. And shoot, I might even, might even pull the carburetor off. Um, the Mustang, the 66, it had also sat and it had also um, needed new accelerator pumps because they were just, the gas had sat in them and just rotted them. I'll see if I can find a picture and I'll, I'll drop it here. Well, I don't know. I don't know how much it recorded because it was shut off. But anyways, carburetor's off. Pretty freaking clean in there, as you can see. Good sign. The line feels good. We have a, we also have a plug out, auto light deal. So we'll go, we'll go find some plugs for this thing, the oil filter. Um, like I showed you, carburetor's, the accelerator pumps are no good. You can tell she's been leaking exhaust right here. Uh, all the carbon. So maybe we'll do exhaust header gaskets too. Um, let's see. So let's see, you can see that these are what get, these are accelerator pumps, see, and they don't even want to push. And I may have one of these here, actually in my shop. So uh, let's see, let's pull that off and see what it looks like real quick. You know, if you need any carburetor stuff and you're in Southern California, you need to hit up Ted's Carburetor or, you know, uh, Lunchy from the Carburetor Chronicles. That's, that's his deal, man. It's better to let the professionals do it. I mean, I can get through this basic stuff fairly easy. These carburetors are easy to work on, but all the fine tuning and stuff like that, distributor weights and blah, 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 blah. That's your guy. Been doing it forever. His pop's been doing it forever. So this one wasn't as bad as the Mustang. Just, but it's still... Yeah, this one's not even close to being that bad. But still, you can see... You know, that smells like turpentine. It's got some... Some crap in it. So if there's crap here... Probably crap throughout the carburetor. But after I get my hair cut, we'll pull the bowl off and see how dirty it is inside there. Custom. That's custom right there. Let's see what this one looks like. It's almost 9 30. I gotta get out of here. Here cuts at 10. Hey, she stinks.
Stinky. Glue it on there. Not bad, man. Pretty freaking clean. Way better than the, the mustard I had. That thing was extremely dirty. I think um, some of the rust and stuff out of the tank, the old tank when they tried to start that Mustang originally went up in the carburetor. There was no fuel filter to catch any of that stuff. These gaskets are stuck pretty good. Oh, man, this thing's very clean. I'm shocked. So this will be a uh, easy power valve. Seems to be all right. I think we're going to be all right. I will pull the other bowl off just to make sure. But, I think we're golden. All right, we're back. Went and got my hair cut, ran to town. We picked up five gallons of the good shit. Uh, gaskets since one of them was ripped. Oil filter so we can change oil. Sparking plugs. And a couple of feet of this arrow clip push lock hose in the front for the radiator. The hose there is rotten, needs to be replaced. So, probably gonna, oh wait, can't forget, accelerator pump. We're gonna just replace this one. It's a. Uh, it's just hard. Some bitches seen better days, so we're gonna replace that. And I'll crack that other uh, bowl off of that some bitch. If the front ones is clean, it you know, back one I think is gonna be clean too. But we'll do all that, and I'll probably put you on a time lapse so I can listen to the good tunes. <laughs> Make sure there ain't no shit in this one.
more dirty on this side. See that? More dirty. Don't look too bad, but that's kind of dirty in there. So what I'm going to do, I got some stuff called MEK, methyl ethyl ketones. I'm going to pour some in a container, and I'm just going to let this sit in there. And uh, it should clean all this stuff up pretty good. Uh, may even have to throw this in there, too. Sounds like the kids are home from school. Daddy. What's Muggy? Daddy. How was how was school? Yes, and Daddy, I have something for you. Let's read the back. Open it up. Don't turn around. Two Dad Love Presley. Ah, it's awesome, Smuggy. <laughs> I do that one with them. What kind of car is my race car? Um, um, do you know what kind of car it is? No. What, what color is it? Black. Black? Yeah, I, know? Get, I colored it black. Oh, okay. What's the car's name? Um, do, do you know the car's name? Mustang. Mustang, there you go. <laughs> it's me and you. Gotta teach them young. Give them some perspective in life. Get them out of that. I, I do it with some of my sisters. Just playing color video paper. games, shit. Well, that's color paper because it has like all the kinds of stuff paper you want. But that's she got a piece of paper. Thank you. Thank you, Smudge. So we'll take a look at the needle and see. Don't look too bad in there. We'll lube it up and put it back together. Let's pull this float out. Oh, yeah, so we'll soak the bowl. Metering block. All right, that's the stuff that I'm gonna use to clean this stuff. So we'll see. It worked good the last time I used it, so. Throw some in here. That way we can put it back when we're done. Get no sparks around this shit.
plugs change, so let's check and see what this MEK did on the parts for the carburetor. So I don't know, it was about 15 minutes that sat in there. And I got that shit pretty clean. Well, there's the ring block and here's the the bowl. Now it ain't no ultrasonic cleaner like Lunchy's got. But it sure does do a damn good job and it does it quick. MEK.